Now the human eye and ear is analog. <laughs> there's not much we can do about it just yet. We have, I know there's probably technologies, bionic eyes and ears that might be able to uh, interpret the video in the digital world, but we have to, we have to absorb it as analog information. So that's why we have these conversions that have to take places. And so what we look at is, in, in this environment, an analog thermometer. It's based on predictable fluid extension, so a continuous sensor. And the analog compasses are based on the magnetism of Earth. So analog scales are based on balancing the two weights within the grid so that you can actually see this, right? I can't see ones and zeros. Well, I could, I suppose. <laughs> Electrical impulses. But that doesn't make for you know, good TV viewing, for example, or good conference room viewing. So we need to make sure that the technologies we use you know, can ultimately convert it back to ultimately what we see. With digital signals, we humans, <laughs> We speak, we move analogly, and so that needs to be converted. And so the interesting part is that, you know, digital signaling, very analytical, right? We have numeric values, absolutes. With analog, just like with me kind of moving around, moving my voice up and down, all of that is human nature, right? And that's the analog human nature. And we need to fit that into that scale. The scale is very rigid, where we're very flexible. If you think about the waveforms, for example, in speech. So that digitizing process tries as closely as possible to fit it into that numeric scale. And so if you see the analog signal being a continuous curve, the digital scale lined right up next to it would be kind of a, a, a funny little step and it, it wouldn't be as smooth, in other words. And so there are different encoding formats that help smooth that hard step into or close to, as much as they can, the curve for that smooth experience. When I think about a broadcast, for example, on a network, what happens? One machine tells every machine on the network about whatever it is it's broadcasting, right? In the TV environment, or the video world, we'll call it, when we broadcast, people tune in, right? It's not something we're forced, well, some, some might say we're forced, but <laughs> we have to choose to turn the power on to actually watch the TV. So that action alone gives us free will. So we turn it on and we tune into a particular channel and that channel has the live video and audio feeds being sent out or it could be pre-recorded, right? It could be something pre-recorded that they are then pushing out the recorded video and audio to you so that you can actually stream it into your home uh, and so forth. So truly the definition of our video broadcasting is the distribution of video one to many, right? That's a broadcast network. So just like in a networking environment, when you have a machine that is broadcasting packets, you know, in that case, Unfortunately, everybody has to look at it and listen and toss it if it's not for them, but everybody is receiving the information. So broadcast networks are broadcasting to anyone who has tuned in. And uh, the first broadcast networks were air-based using, yes, antennas. Now, some of us have gone back to that. If you're trying to unplug and you want to pick up the HD signaling, you might have different antennas and things that you are actually using if you're trying to unplug, as they call it, from some of the pay subscribing services, we'll say. So, and video broadcasting can support, like we said, both live and recorded video that, like a movie, you know, that gets sent out to you at a certain time, date, and channel. Well, I mean, nowadays, throw in the ability to have on-demand and DVRs or TiVos, whichever you're using, to record this information. You can watch it whenever you do, whenever you want to. But video on-demand is a technology that allows 
the providers, again, to have this information ready. And again, if you tune into it, I want to watch that program, then that will then stream down to you.